Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Demonetize with Elena and Alpha Wolf. <laughs> we have Audrina here tonight. And uh, if those of you who don't know her, she's also known as uh, TSJ Marie. She used to rock it in the porn industry for many, many years. Oh, honey, I still do. Oh, she still does. Excuse me. She's still bringing the game. So. I always do. <laughs> I always have. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, without further ado, let's get demonetized. Here we go. Audrina, so tell us, um, for the, the girls that don't, out there that don't know who you are, and um, this is kind of your first time coming on a podcast and kind of sharing your, your personality and, uh, you know, open it up a little bit with uh, the, the real world here a little bit. So just uh, tell us a little about yourself, where you're from, and um, kind of how you got into the, the adult industry. Um, well, you know, I came from Texas, and I moved to L.A. when I was 19, that's when I got into the industry, and um, I've lived here for about like already like eleven years, and that's what I did for the most time. Got into the porn. I stopped doing porn when I was like twenty, but I filmed so much in like three months that I just stayed relevant for like two, three years. Wow, that's kind of like a Lana Rhodes thing. Like, you, mm -hmm. yeah, because she shot for like six months and she's still relevant. So yeah. all those scenes that, because I've seen many of your scenes back when I was younger. And mm -hmm. um, so a lot of those scenes you shot, you banged those out in three months. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's yeah, incredible. Right? How, that's many you, how many think you shot in three months? Like, I honestly don't even know, but it was just like fucking sex after sex after sex. Yeah, you were blowing up. I remember it was like, you were. that's all you were. It was just you all over X videos. and Yeah. yeah just everyone was all about... Jane Marie back, you know, I think they still are actually. So, but what, so what are you doing nowadays? Like what's, what's the most uh, um, active thing like you're doing? Just like OnlyFans okay. and, you know. So that's, that's. Being been... a homebody now that I'm old. Okay. So <laughs> that's about it. The homebody that you're, well, you're not, I mean, I'm older than you. How old are you? She's born in uh, 92, right? I just turned 30. Okay. Oh my God. That's so, yeah. not the old. 30s, like, I wish I could go back to being 30. How old are you? I'm 37. She you look, look. She's you like, look good. You look <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sick of it. Love it. No, but honestly, like, I mean, this is probably gonna sound so horrible, and I don't, know, I don't know if I can say it, but I'm oh, just, you can say I'm whatever like you want, huge, baby. Yeah, you can say yeah. whatever you want. Here. I'm like a huge fucking fag. So <laughs> as no, we go back along, out, back out all you want. Exactly. As we go along, I just want to say, like, I may make some quotes. I don't know if you guys are gonna get them, but I'm basically like a really big huge fag. I think we'll understand some. He's picked up on. He's been around some dolls. So he knows the girl. I've been the girl. Around, I've, been I've been around the girls for a few years now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I, I was in San Diego for my whole life, and I, my roommates. I had three roommates that were uh, Filipino dolls, and I was around that whole lifestyle for a minute, and escorted, and you know, toured. So I, I kind of have a good understanding of the way the world works a little bit on on our side of things. <laughs> you mean this side of the world? This, yeah, mm -hmm. our side. The doll side. The doll side. The doll side. <laughs> the doll side. <laughs> Are you a doll? I would. I mean, I would consider myself. I'm a man. I but mean, I, I've I, seen I, a couple photos of you where I'm like, ooh, he's a man. <laughs> but up he's here, a man. He's, but he's very much a doll. He's yeah. very much a doll. He's very like. He knows the slang. He knows the get down of how dolls. And I love that. You know what? Like, because uh, I've been with a couple guys before where like. They start picking up on my lingo. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is like I call him he's housebroken. <laughs> <laughs> like when I got him, I was like oh. Not when I got him. <laughs> <laughs> she did get me too. She really did get me. <laughs> no, <laughs> like when I got him, he was housebroken. Like he knew like when we were talking, he knew all these slangs and lingos and I was like, Oh my god, he knows everything that I'm like how I talk to my girls. Like he's housebroken. So when he hangs out with me, me and my girls like, he catches on to the slang perfectly. He says the same slang, and they're all kind of just like, <laughs> they're like, as they're listening to him talk, they're like, oh, I'm like catching on. Like, he he knows everything. And I'm like, yeah, he's housebroken. Yeah. Uh, Turnkey. I mean, I didn't even know that. I mean, when I saw that um, you two were together, I was like, he looks really familiar. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know from where. It wasn't until I realized that you um, do, like, I, porn. porn. Do I was like, gay oh. Shit. <laughs> 
that's where I know him from. I have mm-hmm. came a couple times to him. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, great. I love well, it. I love since it. we're being candid, I may have come t- once or twice to you in the past. So, as well, in my well past, we won't go that. My <laughs> ex-boyfriend <laughs> used to watch your shit all the time. Oh, and oh right, I've yeah. had stories about that. If I had like a fucking dollar for every time a fucking girl told mm-hmm. me Be that sad, huh? they fucking like. No, because that they're that their clients have to like. You're just so OG. And so like my ex was like. Are you calling me old? No, no. Like OG original gangster. Like you're like the blueprint. So you're calling like, me old. <laughs> no, original gangster. But like you were the original. You Path know? Uh, trailblazer. Um, trailblazer. We'll sure. say part of the originals. Well, but you were yeah, very. You, the, know, you were right. the first. And you were very popular. And you were good at what you did. So you blew up. And so my ex was like. I watched this one trans girl. She's like the perfect little <laughs> Latina, like TS. Like she's just like the perfect Latina. And I'm like, who is she? And he was like, Jane Marie. And I was like, oh, fucking Drina. I know her. And so at DragCon, <laughs> I saw you. And then I was like, babe, I want you to meet someone. And then I introduced you to him. And yeah. he was blown away. He was like, he was like, oh my God. Like I just like, I just met my, my a celebrity crush. Oh, was he all, was he starstruck? Was he all shaky and like. Yes. And I loved it. I was like, yeah. And honestly, I was probably just like, hello. No, yeah. you yeah. were. Yeah. You, you had like this bo- like bodysuit on. Or was it the, uh, oh, the. Yeah, the bodysuit like on. The fake. Like, and then you had we'll say something else <laughs> you had the body on you had these yeah. big heels and I saw you walk in I was like babe come meet her right now and I was like I was like Drina meet my my man and then you guys met and then he walked away and he was just so like oh my god I just like he was in awe because yeah but you see I don't really it's like it's crazy when I have those moments because I really honestly don't think too you much like a celebrity no you don't think I don't other, huh? no yeah, it's just like, I don't it's just like hey nice to meet you yeah like, I really nothing, don't just I just think of like I'm I'm a human being like mm-hmm. everyone that's why I was really interested in like I told you is in, in doing this podcast mm-hmm. is because my I even hate to say it my fans have not seen Who me you are as a personality I'm fucking yeah. stupid I'm quirky <laughs> I'm fucking weird like you mentioned you have a, a little dark sense of humor i have a dark fucking sense of humor that's fine oh we can, good, good. Oh, we can, can cut. Cut. Okay, good. We, we're past 10 minutes you're good okay, fabulous. Just, uh, i'm just like you know i'm just like a weird like but i'm also very shy is a weird part it's like of a lot of people are really shy from the start yeah you know what like i noticed that a lot of like a lot of the girls even myself like being an exhibitionist in porn like a lot of the behind girls, the, even myself oh no you know <laughs> myself, you know like one of the girls baby uh, no, just uh, even guys that in, in porn that are, you know, they love being in front of the camera and like mm-hmm. exhibitionists, but like when it comes down to like. I'm sorry, real, I'm gonna sound so stupid, but was exhibitionist. Like, you just love showing your body. You just love, like, you want everybody to see you, you know, like just, just fucking have sex in public. Okay. Like, you know, very was, comfortable but, with yourself, basically. But a lot, a lot of people in porn are, are exhibitionists in front of the camera, but when it comes to like down to like real life relationships like very vanilla like well i mean that's the way i am like i'm very shy like whenever i'm on set um which i'm sure we're gonna get into this eventually whenever i'm on set i literally sit in a room by myself and just be like so you i kind of isolate when you when you're on set you just yeah because i'm a shy person yeah you're not like out like introducing yourself to, to i mean i'll say hi like i won't meet the guy that i'm shooting with until like it's time to, it's time like, to have you're sex. Like, you're running lines like, okay, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like annoying. And then, you know, and then they're like, okay, we're doing pretty girls. Oh, yeah. So then I'll yourself, do the photos yeah, and they're yourself, like, yep. wow, you actually know what you're doing. And I was like, yeah, I know. Like, can we just like fucking like hurry up and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. So you've shot with and so you've shot with Jim Powers then, I'd imagine. Jim Powers, director. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scott Scott was one of your photographers back then with Jim Powers. Do you, do you remember your photographers? Bald guy. Well, guy, no, no, he's old, older. Scotty's oh. like he's in his. 40s. I don't remember. Okay, um, I don't know. no, he's 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 major. He's so maybe no then. Um, so who was your first scene with? Was it was it Groovy? Was it with Groovy? Yeah, of course. It's all. It's always. <laughs> Wait, so like, I'm confused as to why everyone's talking about Groovy. It's kind of just like, can you just not get picked up by like a hot like? Well, thing is, Groovy. Like, why does it have to be Groovy first? It doesn't have to be. But well, Groovy a lot of these like the start, off, start orig- off as Groovy. No, you but know? Groovy is like the original, original um, trans. Pr- trans. But that was like you know when it was Shemel Yum. Now it's Groovy Girls, because you know things are changing and everyone's like so fucking like (laughs) about things but that was also the way it was with um the t awards it used Mm -hmm. to was it was called the tranny awards oh they had to switch that up because you can't be using now that yeah exactly so now it's the t awards Mm -hmm. which is is like acronym right t is an acronym for t-e-a transgender 
erotic words. Oh, yeah. Yeah. and it's also with a team. Right. So, All the Chinese Taylor show. Yeah, yeah. yeah, which is great. And honestly, I really love it and everything. It's like, it's just, a, it, it can, can be a little tiring because you have the pre-party mm-hmm. and then you have the awards and then you have the after party yeah so it can be did. tiring but it's great to see like all the girls together mm-hmm. but it can just be very exhausting it, i feel like it could be like a really exciting like high school reunion or it could just be yeah like no super, it really is it could be like a messy fucking wedding <laughs> i mean i have no room to talk so <laughs> but you know like it's fun because all the girls come into town we have a good time mm-hmm. depending how you do it <laughs> right so well, the AVN award. That yeah, we did. Too. We did the AVN awards. Oh AVN my awards. god! I, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. I've never done the AVN. I've never done Xbiz, but I heard it was like insane. It was um, th- insane meaning good or bad. Like insane. I don't. Know, I have anxiety. I have anxiety. So okay, okay, okay. there was you know. um, there was a decent. Uh, I mean, AVN's more focused on the straight side. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course, because there's not like there's not a lot of like trans categories it's it's just now up and coming so what what i did here which kind of sucks is that they ran all the straight awards and then at the very end they did the trans girls awards and like nobody yeah, even got like, it. like i think emma was the only one that got a minute to talk but the rest of the girls that got awards it was just like yeah and emma, their picture. And emma did great and she looked fucking beautiful right but that's the thing like you know with these like straight award shows you know they always like and also i heard that you know like um, I think it was Xbiz that was running so late uh-huh. that they had to get like everyone out. So that's probably why that happened. And, the, and it was on and the then Sunday they night put it at the end. Yep. Damn. Yeah, the Xbiz thing was supposed to start at like 10 p.m. I think they we didn't even go to that. No, I was like, you know what? Sunday night, kids, school, no family. family. We yeah, we go we home. Got invited to that. We did. Yeah. So, I had, so where are the kids? Oh, they're down the hall. So I have my place down the hall, and she's got her place here. And uh, yeah, that way, if I ever get in trouble, I just get. get Sent down the That's hall his dog house yeah. instead of the couch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the couch is here. It's too close still. You know, I'm like, you need to go down the hall. She's like, you can trade with the kids. You go there, send the kids here. So I guess I'll just go to the garage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being so, are talk- y'all gonna go to the awards? Well, I, I mean, tell her, tell her. We're oh, going to the ooh, tell her. We're tell getting her. the tea. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, the tea on the tea. Let's see the tea. Well, I mean, I, I'm nominated. The tea on the tea. I did get nominated for best non non trans performer. Um. But why? Why? Wait! Why are we not going? Are we going? Because you had too many scenes there with bitches that are behind my back. Yeah, night. yeah. I did. I just, so like when we first got together, uh, I was shooting trans scenes. I was shooting bi scenes. I was doing everything, and um, I told Elena that I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stop doing trans scenes, and uh, my work slowed down. And I took um, I took some scenes that I told were were gay scenes, and they were trans scenes, and so. Um, he lied. I lied about it. Yeah, it, it so it definitely caused a huge hiccup in our relationship. Yeah, I, nah. and so now it's kind of like I don't want to go to the award show <laughs> and see the scene that you fucking did behind my back get nominated. I'd be so pissed off. Do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of just like, no. But yeah. was it bareback? Every scene he does <laughs> bareback. <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all bareback. So I'm kind of just like, imagine going to the award and being like, oh, um, Alpha Wolf. Well, like, girl, if you go to the awards anyway, you're gonna find at least someone that's fucked him. No, yeah. no, I don't mind them fucking, well, but it's like yeah. the girls that like, he fucked when he was with me and lied about it. They didn't. And well, none I mean, of the girls knew. Like, none that's of, why I didn't like. Uh, it's kind of like, I mean? I mean, yeah, I can get that, but I mean, none of the girls knew either. So that's like the yeah. fucked up part it's is obviously like, not the girls' fault, but yeah. it's his fault. But it's kind of like I don't want to see like. Like, oh, like, you, like, this is, like, the best thing you've shot, and it's the scene that he did behind my back. And it's kind of, like, really? That's, like, way to rub it in my face. Like, the scene you did behind my back also but got now he's an behind award your back. for So now it's kind of just, like, what the fuck? So I'm going to get hella pissed off. If he wants to go to the war show, I'll bite my tongue and I'll go. But, like, if, like, I see some bitch, like, he's probably fucked by my back, and I'm kind of just, like, I'm going to be, I'm going to feel away, you know? Yeah, it's... It's really up to him. It's, it's his award <laughs> show. He got nominated, so it's really completely up to him if he wants to you go You should just not. be a supportive wife. <sighs> I'm hella supportive. Are you oh kidding? God, I am she's... so supportive. I'm there on set every time you should This film. girl's, like... Really? Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I don't think I could do that. So, no, I'm good for you. every time. Yeah, she's actually... You know, it's pretty rare that they allow, like, partners on set because yeah absolutely do, like, the, the yeah risk of, like no definitely we're gonna get jealous like shit pops off you know what yeah. i mean well i mean only if they're crazy but she's comfortable in this, her own oh, like she, she's not know, only she's is she confident wa- in her skin and everything and she knows that you know yeah you're her man right. so that's why she can do that yeah. i personally i'm a crazy ass bitch <laughs> <laughs> like i'm a crazy ass bitch i probably would never be able to do that yeah you're like i don't want to see my man getting dicked out by nobody <laughs> no i have this really funny story oh my god um, yes we love it tell the right, story so yes really funny story one time my ex boyfriend which is the only boyfriend i've ever had in my life wow um i was like what like 20 um he used to 
grow weed in his house. Mm-hmm. This was before weed was legal. And um, I used to go to his house every night. And um, he was like, oh, you can't come over just yet. Like, I'm working. And I was like. Suspicious. Wow. Suspicious. I was like, hmm. <laughs> so I drove over to his house and I parked outside. <laughs> oh, my God. You are crazy. <laughs> I parked outside. And I was like, who's here? And then he's like, okay, you can come over. And I was like, I'm not tired. He's like, you are fucking a psycho. <laughs> and I was like, well. I had to see who was here, and it was no one. It was, it was just no like one. some guy. I just had to check, just to make sure. Yeah, I'm Latina, so okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. So, what's your background? You're full. Are you native, non-native Mexican American? Mexican American, like um, Selena. Okay, like Selena. I love it. Two words. I was gonna ask you, um, because last year I remember that it got a little messy with uh, Domino on stage. There's a few things what that look clap back. There was what? Yeah, what did happen last year? You were there, front row and center, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us that, Trina. What happened to the two horns last year? I mean, not so much. Domino's a very nice person, I will say that. She's a very nice, respectful person, unless you come across her. Yeah, and she'll speak her mind, obviously. Oh, yeah. No, Domino has, like, no boundaries, especially if you come across her. But deep down inside, she's, like, a very good person. But... I don't know. I guess Casey Kisses just tried her. <laughs> <laughs> and she told her to get your fucking brick ass off the fucking stage. Wait, what happened? I'm so lost because you clearly know what went down, so you tell me. Well, I mean, I just, I, this is just kind of like hearsay from what I heard. I is was, that what this is about Kathy, um, Casey Kisses? Casey Kisses, kisses and, yeah. you know, Domino's, she said it was her stage, right? It's like, get off my stage, something like that. Like yeah. on stage, like in front of everyone, or like? Yeah. So what was Casey Kiss doing on there? Um, was she like, I don't know. I think she, like, I. I think she, she like ran off up or did she was she presenting an award? I honestly I don't know. I think she just like ran up cuz she was like a little conflicted about um some like productions and stuff. So she just like didn't know when she Then was again I wasn't there up. and I was yeah. also like really drunk so I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that. So <laughs> Have you ever uh, any fights ever broken out at the two awards? Not that I remember. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I was great answer <laughs> great answer so what's in store for you with like right now like what's what's a daily life look for Adrena? like just shooting only fans solo content are you shooting with other guys girls or are you just kind of relying um, on um i need to start shooting more with people i need to get my only fans back up and running um i'm gonna be shooting with um at least like two or three trans guys Oh, cool. Mm. Yeah, because, you know, I recently really got into topping. Really? Which How's I, that going like, for you? It's going good. Yeah. I love it. It's so great. at first, like, yo- like when you were younger, Yeah, no, it was when like, I was younger, I was like, uh, no, I'm not that. Look at me right now. Look at me right now. <laughs> She's like, I would never, I would never yeah, top Yeah, that yeah. was very, well, you're also like, what, you're 24? Yes. Oh my God, yes. You're a baby. Yeah, yeah. wait six more years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You'll get there eventually. <laughs> You're like, fuck this bottoming shit. I'm trying Literally, to. Literally, like, I don't have to do. I don't got to do nothing. <laughs> eat all the food I want. <laughs> you can eat all the you food. You me there. That's the thing about, like, um, shooting on set. The gummy bear diet? Oh, my God. Like, you know, I don't eat the day before, and I can't eat that day, mm-hmm. you know, because I want to be, like, Perfect, okay. yeah. Clean, whatever. You don't and want then, to be bloated. You yeah. want right, to look fucking, right, right. Yeah. And then they're like, you know, we have lunch time, and they're like, Jane, what do you want to order? What do you? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck you think? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's on us. What do you want? You're like, thanks. So they're like, we're getting uh, curry. Do you guys want uh, green curry? I'm like, that actually happened. I was shooting with uh, with who was I shooting with? Um, fucking trans. No, men.com. And they're like, yeah, Alpha, we're gonna order. Go ahead and order food. I'm like, again, like and I you're didn't bottoming. Eat day, uh, bottoming, of course, you know, for two people, and I'm like. Um, two people? Yeah. Oh, you're a kinky little bitch, huh? Yeah, I get fucking No, right. there yeah. are more intense scenes that we can catch up on. Yeah, we, have we, you ever been fisted? I have been fisted. Oh, my God. My ex fisted me once. Ay, yo, tito, me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Lord, please. <laughs> I would actually let her, if she didn't have the nails. I, she's. I mean, she has a small hand. Well, I mean, that's like, so easy. When you guys yeah. start fisting, or do you guys start off like this? I'm thinking like we go. I don't know. I've never no, been fisted. No, you know right. what? There was so you go in like this, yeah. and then you fist it, and when you get it's inside like, or what? You want to go in? You know, it's like the. Maybe inch. you should try it. Yeah, I'll I totally feel like the you. nails would just be. Oh, you perfect. I know, but he has a big hand. It's a big fucking hand. Okay, I'm not gonna get fisted. I tried to 
I'm not gonna fist you. Oh no, I'll fist you. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We should actually. But you can't fist me. I'm dainty. Check our OnlyFans in a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribing now. <laughs> right. Oh wait, no, we can't do that OnlyFans. No fisting allowed. That's right. No choking either. No slapping. No choking, slapping. No no peeing or. Oh, so um, I guess we yeah. can have no fun. It's just piss play is the best one. I love piss play. <laughs> oh, do you? You, what you don't like piss play? Do you, yeah, do you have any? You mentioned you're kind of shy and what? Do you, any case I, at all? I let him pee on me any chance he wants. I'm like, yeah, I'm in, already on my knees. In I'm the like, shower, in the shower. But I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> no, so like, is there anything like? Is there anything like? Are you that, kinky at all? There's not like I'm one very, specific thing that helps you come like that really turns you on like because. To be honest, it's like it might sound kind of weird, but um. There's nothing weird. I about don't cakes. ever come during sex. Ever. Ever. Do you not like? Oh, but yourself? you do alone though, right? I'll usually like have sex with someone, and um, I'll just watch porn later and just come. And come well, to why later. do you ever like want to come during sex? I always. I do. do want to. It's just like I don't know. It's so hard. I'm as like, soon as there's like a dick inside me, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, jacking off. Trying to like. Right. Yeah, no. Is it like wild, choking yeah. it while you're getting fucked, or just getting hard? I think getting hard. Like if I'm really into it, like that's why. Like I feel like a lot of companies have stopped working with me because um, I don't get hard and I don't come anymore. Is that a thing? But you said bottom girls don't really need to come. You I can mean, fake your They don't. You see, that's the thing. Like, when I was working with someone... Um, certain certain studios are... Certain studios are different. But I wasn't coming. And they already knew that I wasn't going to come. Or get hard. So they're like, it's okay, we'll just fake it. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I know a girl. She fakes all her cum shots. And cool. porn. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to hear it. Okay. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Uh, okay. I've, you know what? I've Out of the <laughs> nine trans scenes I've shot, um, only one of them came. Yeah, none of, yeah the none of the girls are. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, only time I came was when I was. But also, you know, it kind of is like a little freaky thing. I'm like, am I just getting that old? No, no, no. All right. So tell us about the nightlife. What are you still? Are you dancing? Doing your dancing at the Abbey oh thing God, still? You're, yeah, and you. Yeah, uh, and you're a showgirl. Yeah, I was doing Heavenly Bodies and everything. But you know, now since like we can announce, you know, Sasha Colby is on RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like stopped doing it. But okay. it still happens. Why? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of like, it was just like, it was fun. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm getting old. I mean, there are but then again, it's also like, I feel bad saying that because, you know, there's, I don't know. Honestly, I'm going through like a little like rough time where I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to do. So I wanted to take a little break from doing so much like out stuff. Yeah, Does go that in. Make sense? Go in. You know, like who was saying that? Yes, Trisha. Okay. She's saying the same thing. Trisha's 31, 32, something like that, and she's like, you know what? Like, I had this thing seven months ago where I was like, kind of like reverting back into my old ways, and I just like yeah. I had to get out. I was just doing everything, trying to do everything outside of myself, and I kind of had to reevaluate my life and like see what I wanted to do. And yeah. I think that's totally okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, actually, I'm looking at like a regular job I'm that's totally at, rad i'm looking at like working at a fucking smoke shop <laughs> hell yeah oh my God. so i always talk like about this but or like or no not a dispensary just okay. like a smoke like shop, a shop yeah. and it's right down the street i was like but it's just like a thing that i was thinking about i was like mm -hmm. hmm. so i was gonna ask because a lot of girls struggle with this but going from like the adult life money to then kind of like regular yeah that transition back to nine to five work, yeah. like how is that gonna like because a lot of girls are like oh fuck no once i make sex work money i don't want to go back into that at all so is that kind of like a thought at all for you yeah it is it's been kind of tough i'm not yeah. gonna lie but um at the same time i did have a retail job in you know melrose and everything at like this like i remember yeah yeah at kiki riki mm -hmm. and okay well i'll just might as well just say it Funny story. <laughs> Bring it. One day, one day I was driving to like Kiki Riki mm -hmm. and I had to go from like the valley to um, West Hollywood mm -hmm. over Laurel Canyon. Tell me why. In the middle of the fucking drive, I farted and shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ah! <laughs> yes. And I still had to drive all the way to work. Yeah, there's no turning around at that no, point. You're fucking I was halfway the canyon. There. I had <laughs> to go. <laughs> so there I am, like driving like this, like <laughs> squeezing your ass together. <laughs> and then I run. Thank God it was a women's clothing store. I run in and I'm like, Nick, give me some goddamn underwear and some jeans. <laughs> And he was like, what happened? And then I had to clean myself in the bathroom. But I was like, I shit myself. 
Oh my god, that's the worst. I've shit myself so many times, like, I and know. it's always, always after like doing like two or three scenes, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, I have to fart, and then like, it's not that. You know, I used to tell my friend, don't ever trust a fart. Never, yeah, spe- <laughs> especially after bottoming, like, don't, don't ever, ever trust, trust a fart. Just if you have to fart, just go sit on the toilet, like, or hold it'll it. come out. Don't ever trust a fart. That happened to me. On Unless the way you to know that you're time, like actually. healthy and like, mm-hmm. well, not even, not even that, not even like healthy or anything. Just. Don't trust the fart. Don't ever. trust like. <laughs> Wait, you had that recently, didn't you, honey? Um, why shot myself? Yeah, it was in the car on the way home. You're like, you're like, babe, like, because I like railed you a couple times, and you're like, I tried to fart in the car on the way home. You totally. Just- oh no, that wasn't um poop that came out. That was just your cum. Oh. It was just your cum that came out. Oh. I thought it was a fart, so I was, I was like, oh, it's a fart, and then I pushed it, and I forgot that he had came so much inside me, <laughs> and it was just straight fucking cum that came out of my pants, and I drove home, and I was like, I can literally smell like. The fucking semen. It wasn't poop or anything though, but I thought it was a fart. But Sorry, I, mom. Yeah, <laughs> I had forgot you had literally just like nutted in me, and I was like, oh my god, and it was so wet. I had to drive home. Do you ever wonder why they call it nut? Well, I mean, oh, it's coming oh. out of your nuts. I mean, uh, <laughs> mind blown. Light bulb. Light bulb. That would have been perfect. I know. That would have been perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. never thought about it like that. That's so true. Mm-hmm. It came out of your nut, so you're like nutting. Well, I don't have nuts, so. Oh, yeah, did you get same. you? Got, oh, well, you have. What, what do you do? <laughs> I don't have nuts. What are you talking about? <laughs> Honey, I'm at a chick monk, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just a chick. So you got your nuts removed then? Did you? No, just oh, she's with just, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have a weird sense I'm of like, humor. I'm like, believing it? <laughs> well, I'm like, I have a weird I'm sense like, of humor. Oh, how much was it? Who did it? I want to know. Columbia? It me? Yeah, it's like 800 bucks in Columbia or something. That's pretty inexpensive. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but the flight over there is probably like... Yeah. And then <laughs> the getting flight, like a hotel. Yeah, and there. then like paying the people that are fucking holding you up and for ransom. like that's I was about to say, and hopefully you don't get fucking kidnapped. <laughs> right? <and> fucking killed. <laughs> was it worth no it? No offense to Columbia. We yeah, love you. We love Columbia. We love Columbia, especially the trans girl. Right. <laughs> Cheers. So still doing, you're, you're, so you're re-va- reevaluating, not, you know, get it. I'm just going with the flow at this yeah. point, to be honest. And you said, you said, I heard you say one boyfriend. One boyfriend in my entire life. In your entire life. Even, even. I actually moved to LA for him. Okay. So even pre-transition, no boys that you were even like fucking with. <laughs> like it were. I mean, just like one boy in like middle school. Yeah. That was about it. Yeah. I had a lot of girlfriends. Okay. Normal. Normal. Did you have any girlfriends? A lot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like girlfriend, girlfriends that you were mm-hmm. like trying to figure out your sexuality and shit. Oh, no. I meant like like girlfriends. I mean like. You were I was like, every girl's gay best friend. Okay. I was iconic. You know? Got it. When you say girlfriend, like you were like, you weren't like eating pussy. Oh, no, no, no. Not, okay. not, not, not girlfriend like that. Okay. But I meant like best friend letter girls. Okay. Okay. That's like gay, be- gay best friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was right, everyone's um, best friend. Okay. So without disclosing too much uh, damaging information for uh, anybody in the industry, um, this has kind of been a topic that's been very frequent on the show. And um, what are your thoughts on the, on Christian Triple uh, X experience? Have you shot with them? Good, bad, ugly? Any any uh, any, tea. any tea? Any stories you'd like to share? And um, completely understandable if not. I mean, I was young when I first met him. I was only 19. And like I told you, you know, he's the first guy that I shot with. Oh, and- my gosh. Who else said that? Gracie said that. Brittany said that. So all the girls that have come on have said that the- he focuses on shooting with girls that have never actually shot a scene before. Like a predator. So he's trying to take advantage of you financially, sexually. Not necessarily. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say like financially. I would just think he like creeps on like you know like you know like that little like sleep paralysis demon how does he know, oh, how does he know whether you're like a baby child or not like how does he know how does you're he what? find it yeah how does he find the young girls mm-hmm. like that it's interesting how does he know? well i don't know but anyway <laughs> he's got a special um, app he feel like was like doing a scene with my trans mother and then i was sitting on the couch you know whatever hearing them fuck and whatever 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 and then he comes out and like tries to kiss me and i'm like eh! i was like no i was like you just fucking like we're sucking her dick eating her ass i was like you ain't gonna you haven't even brushed your teeth you're not gonna fucking kiss me and he was like you're a fucking cunt and i was like yeah <laughs> bye it's common room. no girls would ever do that like if well I-, I mean i wouldn't say that but <laughs> who's your trans mom um texas doll texas doll she was re- no you probably don't know her she was um really famous back in the day but in, she's in porn trans- or escorting or in both. porn and 
Yeah, basically in porn, but I met her when I was in ninth grade. Okay, so when before you were in Texas I, still, obviously. Yeah, before I even knew what trans was is when I met her. And actually her sister, um, um, we had a class together and her sister actually told me, oh, my sister's like you. Because I was a very flamboyant gay boy. Uh-huh. Wore makeup and, you know, carried purses and whatever, whatever, whatever. And I was like, what do you mean your sister? Wore your thigh highs and your... <laughs> Well, not all that, but, you know, <laughs> not all that, honey. <laughs> but, you know, like, she was like, my sister's like you. And I was like, what do you mean your sister? So then she's like, yeah, come meet her after school. So I wanted to go meet her, and she was just like this most gorgeous fucking woman. And I was just like in awe. And she still is really gorgeous, but I was just in awe. And um, she was like, graduate. And then we'll get your tits done. <gasps> uh-huh. Oh, I love that. So three months after I graduated high school, I got my tits done. She paid for them? No, I paid for them. Oh, you paid for them. But. I started escorting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can stack that. Yeah, when you're new in the escorting game, you got a new add up and you're pretty. Oh, my God. These girls are stacking coin quick. Yep. Oh, I miss those back page days. Oh, Everyone loves the back page. Well, this, you didn't Everyone have to, loves back page. You didn't have to pay for it. Oh, no, that was a good for like a. Mm-hmm. Quick, a quick hitter, yeah, because everyone's going on there for the casual encounters or the quick little, you know. Yeah, and they close that on Craigslist too, so it's like they shut the whole thing down. <laughs> I remember when that happened. I, I think I was just diddling around online one night on my back page, and shit shut down. Like FBI shut everything down. I'm like, everything oh, down. Damn. That's crazy. I, mean, I feel like it's so much harder to work on a back page because there's no photos. You can't just have relying on like your tagline. No, like, you photos. have a header. Well, what's, yeah, once you, you, you cl- once header, you click once you the header, click. click. Mm. Yeah. So it's kind of oh, like, I always hated it because it was always like better than her and her. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, and they would put the arrows <laughs> better than her. Like, you've had the rest. Come have the best. <laughs> <laughs> like it's all based on your tagline, so you have to kind of like sell it in order for them to click on your profile to be like, oh my god, she's hot. I know, but it's like so tacky like you see that's the way the community is i which i fucking hate mm-hmm. is that you know the community is so like fucking like just catty like that like bitch we're probably fucking the same fucking man like oh, right course. oh yeah like, come on hours in between, if it's like clients yeah, yeah. Oh. but now you got like t- all these other websites that have pictures which i think is so much better because now it's kind of like you can rely on your body your looks to sell yourself you know because at the end it's kind of like that's where you know who's the most sickening. Like. Girl, and then they get on Grinder and fuck a crossdresser <laughs> for free. Into CD and TS. Right. Well, that was, like the, so. that was like the mystery behind casual encounters, though. It's like, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes, like, the, I, the first time I got dicked down by a guy was on Craigslist. That's why I liked it because you can go on there and it's like, you don't have to go down that load Grinder. It's like, you can just go on there and, like, if you wanted to, like, be kind of curious, you could do that. But I remember I met a guy on there with a fucking huge dick and dicked me down one night and I'm like... I, my, I, remember going, <laughs> I, I remember going, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, I was like, I, I think I was like 29, like, <laughs> I think it was like 20, I was like 29, <laughs> like, do, I just, you know, it's funny, I've, 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 I've seen him do a lot, but every time I'm still appalled, like, <laughs> Charles, Charles, how dare you, you know, what's funny, I just remembered this, it's so funny, like, I always keep remembering all these people that, that have fucked me, like, the more we talk about sex on these podcasts, the more I'm like, damn it, my body count's way higher. <laughs> fuck. Uh, at How first, many people do you think you fucked? Um, I'm, I'm, so at first I'm like, oh, outside of porn, like 30. With porn, like 400. But then I'm like, oh, I forgot about escorting. So we're like in the 700s, you know? Damn, that's it? Yeah, I know. What can you buy with your body count? Oh, my God. You could probably buy a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> country. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> Not a country. A small country. You don't even know me like that. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Baby, I see all your porn. It's plenty there. Oh, I'm sure you have, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Charles! Charles! God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all love here. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> what can you add your body count, though? I think for me, I took a new iPhone. <laughs> you can buy a new iPhone with your body count because you. I highly ch- doubt that. She They're ch- starting at nine hundred, bitch. Like, keep that in mind. Well, also keep. Well, she didn't you know, charge anybody though. Well, <laughs> her, her body count's free, honey. That's that's. <laughs> For some reason, Elena thought she was a better person if she didn't charge anybody. You be, be, better be careful with your words. <laughs> She's like, get your man, girl. Get your man. Once, you I once I leave, once I leave, she beats your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> I beat his ass like a almost, lot. almost. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 
Actually, I mean, no, like, I've literally, like, he's pissed me off, and I've just, like, literally broken so much shit in the house. <sighs> Why? Because like, I, I just get so mad, and he gets, he, like, knows how to well, take me Well, then leave off. him, girl. I love him. Oh. You know, I love him. I really do. But, like. But do you? I don't know. Do I? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. I'm like, what? Try it. I'm like, um, I, I think I do. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's like, you know, when you tell someone you're going to marry him, you better really think about that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you don't just say it because you want to say it. You know? Coming like, from the guy with two divorces. So. <laughs> Let's not forget who. If you're going to marry someone, make sure you marry them. Coming from the guy with two divorces, honey. This next topic. <laughs> You're Harpo, done for that. You're done. we need you back. But they left me. <laughs> you can't I wonder on. why. <laughs> At that point, did you think you're the problem, yeah, sweetie? I did, I, was I the problem? I the, you're the problem, honey. Uh, they this, left you. After being with you, I'm like, damn it, I am the problem, actually. I've told you many times, you're the fucking problem. <laughs> Woo. We're getting real. This is, again, Anyways, welcome so, to demonetize. Uh, welcome back to... Um, <laughs> Elena demonetized. That's where we're pushing guy- <laughs> community guidelines. <laughs> You're Sagittarius? I am. You are Sagittarius. I saw, I think, December 8th is your birthday, right? I, I read up on people December Ooh, 8th, right? Oh, girl. Yeah. I didn't tell him nothing, so don't even come Baby after girl, me. I am not mad whatsoever. No, trust me. It takes a lot for me to be mad at a bitch so that he's, like, ever been involved with. Like, I've literally brought in girls on the show that he's literally talked to romantically in the past, and I'm sitting here so chill, like, yeah, girl, what the fuck is up? You know? Like, yeah, because nothing, girl, like, Like, yeah. it's, it's Bye. to me, it's kind of like, I only get mad at a bitch. I don't care what happened prior to me, but, like, mm-hmm. it's when I'm here and they know that I'm in his life and they still try something, that's when we mean you have issues. But, like, right. the girls that I brought on that have, like, spoken to him in the past, like, romantically, they've been really respectful. So it's kind of like they're not pushing any boundaries. They respect the relationship. I'm going to reciprocate that energy. But when I see them, like, being slick in a way, then we're going to have to, like, we're gonna have to, we're going to have to call it out. You know what I mean? But well, I'm, girl, that's why you got to beat a bitch. Right. Yeah, I know I'm, you're from the hood. I'm really mature in that way where it's kind of like, I'm not going to sit and be like, you talk to her, I, I'm jealous. Yeah, you know, no, definitely like, that. But, I mean, I when you got to, like, throw hands, you got to throw hands. Oh, of course. But I know when... It's you gotta throw a picture. You can throw a picture, dude. <laughs> well, not well, clearly, if she's like beating up her entire house because of you, <laughs> she'll beat up a bitch no, and beat up the house. No, this is all in reference to like when when like I came clean about shooting the scenes and it was like she really got hurt and mm-hmm. she grabbed one of the pictures and fucking bullseye pinpoint accuracy hit the same spot twice. That dent in my titanium fridge. Yeah, when you see that. the, and I'm like, damn, that that really shook me up too because I'm like, that was like pictures of like us so like in love and I'm like damn turn the sound of <laughs> glass breaking the sound of sounds glass like, burping yeah, it's, 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 it's like, like, it's like it makes you happy yes it made it's, me happy knowing that I like missed you know <laughs> <laughs> thank god because then you had to have like catch no, the case when I throw shit I throw it fucking sharp and that frame went spinning really quickly for it hit something and yeah. it broke off entirely. I was like, don't worry. I'll clean it up, babe. I'll get it all. I got it. She's like, I'll- god damn you are. Like, <laughs> it's your causing. <laughs> no, yeah. I literally got into a fight with a girl one time and I threw a fucking bottle and it like broke into the wall and just stayed there. Oh, no way. Damn. I know. it was wow. That would have stuck in her. Feist. Well, you're Latina. Fun throwing things, I can know? be a little feisty. We all can. I had, I had a friend who, Mexican homie, and his girl was pretty crazy too. And are you racist? Absolutely not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I have I have friends of all races. Uh, I I did go to prison and I did you know have to do things that I am not proud of. But I'm definitely don't consider myself any more uh, anything other than accepting of all people. But um, where was I going with that? Your um, I don't Hispanic <laughs> friend. Oh yeah, so his girlfriend. I remember his girlfriend. So you were mentioned like you know you called your boyfriend. He's like come on over in, in a little bit. Same situation, but he was actually kind of fucking around, and she set his car on fire. And I'm oh like, my god, I love that. Angela Bassett. It was like, but like, I feel like it's, but she like made him dinner after, like, she, they were like, oh, <laughs> like, he's like, baby, I'm so sorry. And like, she fucked and him she up. And she made him dinner Yeah, she after? made him pozole afterwards. It was like, oh my damn, you guys are for real what, like that. Pozole? Was that before she, or after the car exploded? After she lit the car on fire, they like went home later that night and she cooked him pozole. I'm like, my like, god damn, you guys are fucking no, real. No, the car <laughs> they lit on fire, it has to explode. Well, I mean, you have like a, de- a timeline before that thing just blows the fuck up, you know? Depending on how much fuel not, you have in there. In, no, not necessarily. In true. Hollywood, sure, but I've Bra- seen cars <laughs> on fire that haven't blown up. Well, yeah. that one time we drove by on the freeway and it was just sitting there. Yeah, just sitting time. there. Yeah, sometimes they just, yeah, it's not always like that, but. You don't know how much gas is in there. I guess we can find out. I want to go blow up a car. Well, yeah, I mean, no. with gas prices go right now, we don't we'll know. Find out. <laughs> we'll go shoot another train. And I'll tell you if the car blows up. <laughs> go book a scene, babe. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. So what is there anything uh, anything 
anything special coming from Audrina like that we can look forward to? Like, um, you said you're gonna you just shoot me and ads, my, me and my presence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's already enough, you know. Yeah. It is. No, just the awards that are coming up. Um, I forgot what to wear. It's like, but I'm just doing the awards. Um, other than that, the T awards in WeHo. Or you need it's to, at the Avalon in Hollywood. Oh, it's at the Avalon, okay. But then that, that a hotel? Thing... It's a hotel, right? Or is it a club? No, it's the Avalon. Tiger Heat? I don't know. Anything we're like, LA. yeah, we, we're. I'm not LA, like, educated. We're like, we're, yeah. Is it a hotel? Is educated, it a split. No, it's like a huge club in um in Hollywood. It's right by um Capitol Records. I have no okay, idea where that so is. Capitol Records, and we're going down the 405, that huge fucking building, the circular building. Yeah, right it's on right, there. It's on right there. Hollywood and Vine. It's That's like iconic building. Capitol yeah. Records is Capital like. Capitol Records yeah. is where you. Know, right off Sunset right have there. Have you ever seen, like, um, Burlesque? Yes. Where she's like walking. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Now I get it. It's okay, yeah. Around that little area. But it should be very interesting. Nice. We shall Do you want to go to the TL Awards? I mean, I'm not going to win. I don't really see a purpose in going, especially. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm not even you. nominated. If you want to go? I mean, when, yeah, when we uh, went to the AVN Awards, all the girls that we saw there, out of all the girls that know you and know me, how many said <clears throat> hi to us? Two. Two. Respect to those two, <laughs> mm-hmm. but the rest you of them. You see, like, and that's the thing. Like, like, uh, like they'll look at you and like, like talk about you and like yeah. whisper, but no one's gonna say hi. I'm like, hey, that's why going? I didn't want to go to like either the AVN or the Expos because like, it's like it's so crazy how like shady the industry can be. Tell me from your like perspective, they, like how, like, what like they will about? like probably like follow you and talk to you like on social media, but when they see you in person, they're like. Why though? I don't fucking. Know. I feel like that should be like. like if I knew, I would tell you. It should be like, I'm oh, how we talk. How are you? But yeah. Why so do they just ignore you? On top of you? that, like, um, on top of that, like from AVN and like Xbiz and all that, for the T Awards, we're supposed to be about like all of us sisters. Yeah, like coming together, right? Coming together to enjoy ourselves together, and yeah. they're still fucking shady. It's like, hello, like, you know what the hell? And there's a handful the, of girls that look out yeah, for each but other. The, yeah, there definitely is. But, but the industry's always been like that. And it's kind of like, I don't, how can I say this? It's always like the older girls and generations that, you know. Do you think it's because they feel threatened by the younger girls and they're respect. like, oh, taking my place, you know? No, never that. My trans mother always told me there's always going to be someone younger and more beautiful than you. Yep. So, you know, don't ever let it get to your head. And I don't. But. I don't know, this younger generation's a little cuckoo goo too, baby. Mm-hmm. And my daddy always told me that too on, on the men's side. Like, there's always going to be a man that's bigger than you, that's stronger than you, that's going to be able to whoop your ass. So yeah. fucking humble yourself, you know? I always told myself there's always going to be someone prettier and hotter than me, and that day will never come, so. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? She said, I always told myself that there's someone prettier than me, hotter than no, me. No, I'm talking about the last. But that day will never come. I- Oh, girl. <laughs> Mama, respect your elders. <laughs> Tell me, okay, Trampa. <laughs> <laughs> My great great Trampa said it would be so. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not my great great Trampa. <laughs> It's been 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> my pump. I gotta get my pump. My pump's blowing on my ass. My silicone's dead on my ass. <laughs> tell me, tell everyone how you and I met. Oh, how did you meet? Yeah, how did we meet? Because I knew you since I was in high school. I knew you since I was a, a, ju- a junior in high school. Um, For legal reasons, I will not mention that. <laughs> We never had sex though, you and I. We were just friends. Not that you know of. Were you guys of. fucked? No, no, oh. no, no. I'm like, not that you know of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, see, for legal reasons, do not mention that <laughs> that part right there. No, I've seen Elena get frisky before. She don't let her fool, fool you. She, <laughs> she's got, she's interested in other other genders I as well. Know. You know what? Um, how did we meet? From it was through Eden. Eden. It was through Eden. Yeah, yeah. Eden. through Eden. I met. That's you. how I met you and Nikita. I met you with Raquel. Yeah. yeah. So it was. Um, I don't know how we met, but. I remember going to a house party. I think it was like house birthday. A party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a house party. Oh, oh, Did no. I say it? Did it was a party. That's how you say it. A party? A house oh, party, Jersey, yeah. Jersey party. Oh, it was like that, oh, that big pool. Jersey, all of a sudden. That, that big pool outside, remember? And then she had like this, like this dress that split in the middle. It was beautiful, but I met... Girl, I'm, I'm older, okay? <laughs> I forget well, I things. Met you at, I met you with Raquel. And you were how old? 
Um, junior year, so I was probably like 16. 16 or 17. 16 or 17 when I so met you. So I was probably like, what, like 22? You're born in what, 20, 99? 99, 92, yeah. so 92. you're seven years older than she is. Yeah, no, that's when Thank we met. Thank you for mentioning that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way to go. I'm 14, way to go. And I'm 14 years older than Elena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's the real pervert here. Well, you know, because Valentine's Day is coming up, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I met you with Raquel, and then... Um, yeah, and then I would see you once in a while here and there with Eden whenever I'd go to LA with her, and then we just remained friends ever since. <laughs> Have we? She did it back. Have we? I loved it. Well, she matches my energy. I love, I love that. <laughs> Real recognize real. I love it. I love it. I love Wait, it. so what happened to Eden? What happened? To, did that was that like a falling out that yeah. all, all the girls had with? Okay, I'll tell you the full story of how what, what, why me and Eden aren't friends anymore. It's really simple. So basically, um, I've never told anyone this, so I'll talk about it right now. Good. Well, we might so, as well. Hold yeah. So basically, I had a friend, um, and she had an ex boyfriend that Eden fucked, and then Eden pooped on him, and then Eden told me, and then I told. The girl, I was like, oh, Eden just fucked your ex-boyfriend, by the way. And I thought, you should know. And later, we were just talking about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, she pooped on him. Like, whatever. Like, I just do that little thing in there. And then Eden called me and got mad. And she was like, why the fuck would you say that? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, girl, it's fine. Like, it's just poop. Like, everyone everyone who does anal has poop on someone before. Like, I don't know what the big issue is. And I she have was that. like, I have. And she was like, oh, we know. Oh, oh. I've heard. <laughs> Everybody, you're infamous for pooping on people, bitch. I've shit on people before. No, I love... No, but I've, I've never shit on people. I've just given a little, like... Little Chili cheese, dog. A little douche water. Oh, <laughs> a little, yeah, a little, a little water. T- t- yeah, but we call, it, we call it painting. Like, Eden was like, oh, yeah, I painted him boots, you know? <laughs> painted him painted boots. Him boots. <laughs> yeah, and so I was kind of like... And so later she was like, she's like, no, Elena, it's the fact that you were kind of just, like, shit talking on me. Like, you could have just told her that I, like, fucked well, him. Well, I mean, girl, fine. I think all the shit talking yeah, was yeah, already done. Yeah. <laughs> there was actually shit, so... And then I was like... Yeah, and then she was like, she's like, no, you're shit talking on me, this and that. And I was like, she's like, you could have just left that part out, but, like, you added that fact in there because you just wanted to, like, shit talk on me. And I was Okay, I, think I was you like, did enough shit talking for all of us, Mary. I was like, girl, every like everybody shit talks. Like I've talked shit. Yeah. Everyone does it. And then she she says this. She goes, "Oh my god, you're literally like crazy. You're like obsessed with me. You're like crazy." And I was like, let's not forget who DM'd who to be friends. You DM'd me. So how am I obsessed with you? You, I brought you on my YouTube channel. Ooh. I bust. I basically Ooh. introduced you to the whole world. I already had a following. You were just like at 12k. Child, yeah, the I'm the one who's. Is open. But I'm the one who's obsessed with you. And then just the, <laughs> just a little. <gasps> you're crazy. As if I was like a crazy fan. Let's not forget. Who like, DM'd why are you so in love with me? It's giving that energy. So I was kind of like, bitch. Like, like get over yourself. Yeah, like, but also you got to understand that was. You both have matured throughout the years. So you gotta sure. also know yeah. that, you know. It's also been years since the friendship has ended, and I've been perfectly fine. Yeah, but. So it's I mean, kind of like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not tripping on our friendship with her. If it yeah, happens, no, it happens, not. but like. But, you know, this happened years ago. I mean, I'm not the same ago. person I was when I was mm-hmm. 18, 19. Though. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, maybe, like, you guys' relationship is not there right now i mean but it's, again like i'm not tripping on it it happened yeah I'm like, of course no you know I'm like whatever it's been like sometime. four fucking years yeah so I'm like, friendships you know they go yeah just tell her like I, I actually am not the same person i used to be i used to be like a vietnamese boy when i was younger and now i'm not so i'm yeah, not the I, same. like whitewashed myself i'm caucasian now so <laughs> she moves to OC and all of a sudden she's caucasian <laughs> <white> now <laughs> She moves to OC and like she's dates like a white guy and all of a Caucasian. I know. <laughs> so I did a white skin. man, have white kids, and now my last name's a white name, so it's cute. You know, I'm like, I love it. Blonde hair, it's just yeah. you know. I think you look a little Mexican. Everyone says that. They always say Latina. They always very say Latina. Latina. I don't know. It's probably because you grew up in Westminster. <laughs> what? How the fuck? <laughs> the city that you live in, like. Kate, like, how does that like identify your genetics, there's a, there's bitch? Like, strong li- you look like you're from Panorama City. Like, make that fucking make sense. <laughs> Tarzana. <laughs> you, because you grew up in Westminster, so you look Latino. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means, but girl, I kind of have a feeling when I get out of here, y'all are gonna get into a fight. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, no. when you're gonna like edit the video, you're gonna be like. <laughs> 
<laughs> did you really say that? Yeah. <laughs> like, what did you mean by this? No, him and I get into it all the time. It's fine. We've been having a good, like, streak. Yeah, you know, we've had a few good weeks lately. <laughs> <laughs> we used to argue every day, but since we went on Accutane, now we don't. <laughs> we went on Accutane. <laughs> They've been delivered. Yeah, we have been delivered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, they started going to church. The demons have been exercised. We actually started uh, attending a, <laughs> a Pentecostal an church. I just got an exorcism. That's why. So yeah. now I'm like cleansed from yeah. like, the demons. Do you, do you like the new Pentecostal church we're attending where they cast out your demons on a, on a um, regular Sunday? No, because I kind of like how hard I threw the frames. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I, I'm not, I throw like a weak bitch. I got mad because I, I liked all those demons that I had. And they're like, they must go. I'm like, no, they got to stay. Yeah. I want, the, I want the lustful they, one. Thank God those. Thank God your <laughs> demons were gone because your demons were filming trans scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna oh my god I feel like I'm a therapist <laughs> so I'm happy your demons are gone I know so, so what do you suggest I do with this Audrina like do I just keep she's this? like I think book more work fuck this bitch <laughs> like she's not gonna pay your bills book the tranny scenes babe. book the tranny scenes honey do what you gotta do this bitch ain't paying your bills <laughs> <laughs> and you bring your kids around this bitch girl <laughs> the truth has been spoken <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, you guys seem like you guys are very happy. No, we every get, relationship is always very, you know. We've definitely. Uh, if anyone says their relationship is a hundred percent perfect, it's they're the, full of shit. That's full of shit. You know what? It's perfect when you're with me because I don't do anything wrong. Right. It was right. It's been always. It's always him. Right. It's always. Yeah. Name one time, babe, when you got mad at me for doing something. Oh, you can't. Um, it's not the list. Like I'm like. <laughs> he pulled his phone out. I'm well, like, one time I have my phone right there <laughs> in my notes. I'd say probably just you not being open to trying, like, you not, like, I'm like, let's go, let's go fucking to Santa Ana and go find a taco truck and really get into it with some tacos. And you're like, no, because I had cafeteria food one time and the burritos are, that's what Mexican food. Yo, really? That's that, my favorite thing to do. I l- Let's go. Fuck it. Like, we're out. We're leaving. <laughs> um, bring oh. me back a churro. <laughs> <laughs> Juditos. Just a churro. Girl, yeah. those like, like, events are like fun. I love like just like random stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think now that I'm like a homebody most of the time, like. I'll go with him. I just won't participate in the activity because I'm not into it. Why not? I'm just not into it. You know? What about an orgy? She, oh, I would throw yeah, hands for sure. Okay, you see? Like, here's the thing. An orgy where, like, I'm the only girl. Well, we'll I am yeah. so down yeah, for it. You're the only one, you're the only girl there. You're getting railed by a bunch of dudes. You're all about that one. Mm-hmm, for but sure. if there's going to be another bitch there, I'll let them all, like, I'll let him fuck them all. But then afterwards, I'm beating them up one by one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll literally be like, oh my God, yeah, come in. Yeah, go have fun. Oh, yeah. And then, like, I'll, I'll participate. No, no, yeah. yeah. You see that? Toxic. And then later, <laughs> as, soon, as soon as, as, soon as everyone's done. That would be done, me too. I'd be like, Babe, it's fine. Yeah. Go and then on. I'll beat you the fuck and be like, what made you think it was okay for you to do that to my man? Like, where's the girl code in that? And then we fighting. What relationship? <clears throat> like, what solid relationship? Like, I want to know. You're like, like, who hurt you? What? Yeah, who hurt you? But like, what? You did, bitch. <laughs> No man wants to like watch his chick. There's actually there are some guys. Y'all, like, I'm not dealing with this therapy uh, bullshit right now. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, you, you, you're uh-uh. in this. You're already fucking committed. <laughs> well, you clearly, can't just run away. Can I get a notebook? I need help. help. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any meditations like tactics we can use for this to calm Sorry. down? I mean, my goodness. <laughs> I'm calm. <clears throat> Dude, this is like messy. You're not for- calm, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so calm. What do you fucking mean? I'm calm. <laughs> I'm fine. You're the amazing, wonderful, iconic. Super iconic. Original. Thank you. Jane Marie. There's many. You know, I actually really don't like when people say that. Jane Marie? Do, no. Or just, just like the original? Icon legend. I'm like, yeah. Why? Original. I don't know. Because I'm, I'm not like really like conceited like that. I'm no, like really humble. Yeah, but you still, I mean, but you are, I mean, if you I think about. I aspire to be like you. If you think about Janes in the, in the trans game, you're the first Jane. Well, I mean, if you. God, now I'm going to sound like an asshole, like a hypocrite. Yeah, but if you look up like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, duh. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Um, like, if, what are you expecting? <laughs> like, me? <laughs> No, but seriously, I don't really don't see myself like that. But I know it's there. I just really don't see myself like that. I mean, that's really good though. I wish I was more like that. I really do. I'm conceited as shit. I'm conceited as shit. She also thinks she's white. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's your definition of conceited though? Like, like I think like. You think you're better than people? Um, sometimes it depends who I'm talking to. I don't know. What's the difference between? Okay. Hmm. Okay, sometimes I can be a little ditzy. Mm -hmm. So when you think you're better than someone, but when you just think that you're sickening, 
what would you call that? So, I mean, there's a balance between well, that. Well, that's like self-love. There, there could be like, someone could be very prideful, like, I'm the shit. Okay. Like, prideful. y'all suck, I'm the shit. And that person could actually not be the shit, but they're just like, they just. Which is great. And yeah. I love that. That's what I love. There's a lot of people that are like, not that special or not that attractive but like they totally believe they are the shit and the thing that happens is as they believe that and life continues they actually do become pretty fucking amazing right i think uh, i think it's like, like, like manifestation uh, kind of like um what's the saying it's kind of like um you put it out into the universe until you manifest it. yeah i think like conceited comes from like when you're just an asshole. Yeah, you're just... That's like, cocky. That's cocky. That's cocky. cocky. Oh, okay, that's cocky. cocky. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, that's cocky. Sorry. I think... Okay, uh, so I, think, I didn't know we had a fucking dictionary <laughs> oh, here. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> so I think cocky sounds just like you're like obsessed with yourself and you're also like a dick about it. I think because he's kind of just like yeah. you, any chance you get, you want to look at yourself, you want to talk about yourself. Like, but like, uh, can you be like a nice person. Like but Alyssa just, Edwards. That's very... Nar- uh, nar- I mean, I don't, I don't really watch... Something. Yes. Yeah. Narcissist. Can, can, can you see the mm. narcissism kind of go hand in hand? No, you've yeah. never seen like Alyssa Edwards. Every time she sees the mirror, she's like, "I mean, I don't really watch Drag Race that much, but I know Alyssa oh, was like she's a, a woman." <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm I've a seen. Faggot, I've so, seen. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I saw one season when I was younger, and that was a se- season with um Willem, Willem, Willem. Willem, Willem yeah. Willow Pill. Will- Will- Willem. I forgot. He doesn't have a last name. Willem. 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 And Willem. I, I watched that season. No, it's just Willem. Just that Willem. season for um for him, and then I. And don't get it confused with Will I Am from um from the Black, Black Eyed Peas. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Completely no, don't person. really watch. No, girl, Drag I used to Race. watch that since I was like a kid. I and it's so crazy that. because he's watching more than I have. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's so crazy because once I moved to LA, um. You see now, all of them in person, you're like, wow. Yeah, and they're all a lot of my friends. It's yeah, like, I know. Oh, no shit. Okay. Yeah. So when I meet them, I'm like, Yee! and I'm just like, they're a normal person. That's Which just... actually kind of comes back to like how um, people would like look at me and be like, oh, yeah. God. So you know what? That kind of does make mm-hmm. sense. It's like it's kind of like watching someone from like their person's point of view, and then later you're finally seeing them in person. It's kind of like, oh my god, like I would like. It's like it's like surreal to some people. Yeah, because you know? when I fucking met a uh, George Delano, and I've been watching her since like fucking Angel, Angel Baby, Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where she would be like, "I'm gonna eat my fucking my rummy with my sriracha," <laughs> and when I met her, I was like, "Oh my god, not!" And then that. now we're we're not like super super close friends, but you know we're friends. And then she's there like with like a fucking tree, like. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, girl, you're crazy. I love it. So that's the thing. Like, people like misinterpret people all the time. So I think people should just just be yourself at the end well, of the I mean, day. Like what you were saying earlier, like, um, people only see uh, right. what you portray out there. So you're excited to come on because no one really, no one's really ever really seen you for your personality until now. Yeah, so I, you only yeah. people only see what with me with like they three out dicks there. in my ass. So. <laughs> Which has never happened. So three? I'm like, I'm like, I heard three. I'm like, damn. I'll take like, a little triple hitter. Yeah, yeah, no, it's never happened, but I kind of want to. Do it. I want to. You can to. make it happen. I mean, I did like a six guy gangbang, but. How was that? It was not what I for, expected. For, for OnlyFans or for, for a, a studio film? I don't want to say. Okay. But it just didn't happen. But I tried to get two dicks in my ass, but they couldn't just fucking I mean, that's stick. like going to be really hard. Actually, you can do it. Oh, yeah. I've been fucking gang. Yeah. Oh, check my OnlyFans. <laughs> he can fit a whole nother planet in his ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's his, go. His, oh. his butt for him. is Sorry. like a black hole. It just sucks. <gasps> his butt is I think bird. we're about to be sucked into it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bermuda Triangle. Yo, wait, what is that, yo? <laughs> you get lost in his butt. <laughs> you feel the pressure on you. <laughs> Any chance I get to bring up his butt, I'm going to fucking do it. Yeah. Because it's like crazy to me how like an asshole can just well, store so much. Uh, well, it's like it's like public storage. You, you know? know what? Sometimes when I'm watching porn, I come across like things, and um, I'd be surprised too. Like guys <laughs> go all the way up here, and I'm like, oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Bowling pins, golf balls, wine bottles. I'm like, that one was nasty. <laughs> if we were talking about the same one mm. where he put like the fucking one broke, and it broke. Oh, oh my god! One man, one jar. One man, one job. Have you seen two kids, um, one two, sandbox? Two, 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 Ew! Girl, two what kids, are you what? watching? Two kids, one what? 
one sandbox. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it. The reason why it's called Kids is because, I don't know if they're kids or not, but there's these two guys at the playground, and they're shoving, like, big fucking toys in their urethra of their penis. Oh, my God. In the sand? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Like, they're at the playground with the wood chips, and they're shoving, like, shit in their fucking urethra. What's with that, guys? Comment, please. Who's who's doing the sounding and who's into that? Like, I can't. I don't know. You know what? Actually, now that you're mentioning piss play, my ex boyfriend. <laughs> no one mentioned piss play. <laughs> no, that was I like. Know, but we're talking about like. <laughs> babe, that was like 45 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> sorry. So, so your ex boyfriend. Now, now that we mentioned piss no, play. No, no, I don't want to mention it. Since you mentioned it. Since you mentioned it. You want to talk about mother. <laughs> Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Nothing. God, describe yourself in three words. Quickly. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> no, you're not leaving. Describe your um, way in three describe words. Describe myself in three words. Right. Um, outgoing, spiritual, and crazy. Spiritual and crazy doesn't work together, Mary. <laughs> yeah, how do you be spiritual and crazy? What the fuck? Oh, like, because my because my my outlook on things are definitely a bit on on the far end of crazy spectrum, um, and it's a little bit outside the grasp of people's normal normal thinking. So, well, I live on the grass outside. So, have you ever had a spiritual experience um, with like psilocybin or DMT or anything like that, um, where you were like, oh my gosh, like I had no idea that there was this whole other side of like. Existence. Yeah, it was the first time that I ate McDonald's. Fuck yeah, on a Big Mac or or, or um, no, chicken nuggets. The hot and uh, hot and spicy. The hot and spicy. You yeah. remember the hot and spicy? They don't. What? They don't sell them here. No, but I. It's like when they brought back the McRib for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you know, oh, hot I and spicy. Hate the, I hate the yeah. McRib. <laughs> Fuck it, or the square fish sandwich. Yeah, I mean, I kind of I have like. Those are still a thing. They're good. The filet they, fish. Did you ever yeah, love yeah, the filet fish? Them. I did, but you know, every time I have um. Taco Bell, I just huh. Uh, every time I have Taco Bell, I just. What are you laughing what at? What are you laughing at? Yeah, what are you laughing at? She's talking about her spiritual experiences from Taco, Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing before the punchline. Because <laughs> 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 I said, have you ever had like any spiritual experiences like mushrooms or DMT? She's like, yeah, I, when I eat McDonald's, <laughs> but when I eat Taco Bell, especially, like I'm really connecting with God, you as know. As soon as I pull, I just see his, I see his face. Every as time soon as I pull into the drive-thru and speak to Jose, I'm like, oh, you're like, you're like, see, dos mas diablos, Jose. And you're like, fuck. I Dios, feel the I feel yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You see, he gets it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah go on. So you talk about. Uh, yeah, you know. No, I do you like Taco Bell? I, I love Taco Bell. Um, I don't like Mexican food. <laughs> so I that's can't. strike two. That's I strike two. That's strike two, Mary. <laughs> Maria. Loves, lo- yeah, I mean, I'm from, San Diego. I'm from San Diego. We have a special type of, of food in Southern California. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? San Diego. Yeah, right? San Diego has Southern <laughs> Southern Cali Mexican style food. So we're, we have. Well, Cal- I'm more Southern Tex. Yeah, you're more Tex Mex, like little Ew. little Tex Mex. Yeah, like where you Ew, from? Don't look at me like that. San Antonio. Like, like where, where you? From, I'm from McAllen. McAllen. Where's that, like, in relation to, like, Dallas and San Antonio, like... Uh, from San Antonio, it's four hours. Corpus Christi is two hours. So you're closer to the coast, then? Yes. Okay. Mexico is, like, 20 minutes away. No shit. Yeah, so okay. I'm, like, Tex-Mex, Tex-Mex. Like, S- Selena. Wh- what's the, like, biggest difference between, like, Tex-Mex and, like, standard, like, Tijuana-style Mexican food? That's a good... It's a good question. Um, I'll take another question for 50, Alex. I'm gonna, <laughs> I would have to say probably the, the chiles they use. It's different type of chiles. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah. But also, I was raised by my grandma, so she has like... So she's food. got her own special authentic style Yeah, of whenever I go home, I go to Mexico, and she's like, I don't know, food's different back there, but food is really good in San Diego. Absolutely. Especially because, you know, Tijuana's right there. Yep. But so, I'm also like right next to the border as well. Your grandma, is she the type of grandma who's, um, she wakes up, she's cooking all day. Like she's either doing laundry or cooking all day. Like there's always something. I gain like at least 30 pounds every time I go <laughs> home. That's how grandmas are. Though. I love that. You know, yeah, especially- I wake up in the morning. You want breakfast? It's already, it's already ready to go. Okay? <laughs> yeah, it's and already ready. Ready. You want dinner? Tortillas are ready to go. Rock and roll. Yeah. Not on the weekend though. Not on the weekend. She says on the weekend. Um. The kitchen is closed because she likes to drink. So oh, so <laughs> Monday through Friday she's feeding, and then you Monday through yeah. Friday on the weekend she's, she's like, on your own. Up to the ninos <laughs> to figure it out. 
Oh, you're the host, babe. You run. You run. Well, I mean, you you know. I thought you were the host. I know. I'm letting him host this one episode. She's test. She's testing me to see. Like, yeah, you know, does he? Does he? She's like, does he have what it takes? To actually, so I want to see if he's got what it takes to run his own show. Without yeah. My help. Yeah. Oh, I see. All right. So do you have any questions? Yeah. So I'm letting him like. I mean, I've, all my questions. <laughs> I mean, it's, actually, I do have a question because you know, everybody <clears> that you know, maybe you have a lot of fans watching or or will watch, and I'm sure there's a lot of men that are like, how can I ever get a chance with Audrina? You won't. Never. <laughs> but what is your it doesn't have to be a man but like <clears throat> if you had the perfect partner describe the perfect partner for you like doesn't have to be male feel but whatever like qualities would it be are you into someone who's romantic like do you want to be wine and dine do you want just traditional like family life like what what do you see in your future if any for for a relationship invisible and pays my bills Invisible and pays my bills. No, I'm just kidding. No, actually, you know what? Um, That's a good question, Alex. Yeah. I don't know, you know. At this point, I'm like... Do you want to save it for Final Jeopardy? Sure. (laughs) How much are you going to wager on this question? How much you got? I mean, how much did you make in all your scenes? 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cents. No, we're putting 60 I'm just kidding. No, I don't know. Actually, I'm actually thinking about getting back with my ex. Really? Okay, so the the, the one that you met, your first boyfriend. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you st- so you still kind of think about him a little bit. Well, we started talking, but he has a baby. Okay. <gasps> That's perfect. I know. Do you want to be a mommy? I don't know, but thing is like You give like, heavy maternal maternal mm-hmm. vibes. You yeah, give you, you give heavy maternal energy. Yeah, that's not, not that's not no, no, not like that. Not like, that. like very strong, like motherly, strong, motherly. Like I feel like I give very Thea mother vibes. Like auntie, auntie, okay. very auntie mother. Trampa, still a mother, still a, mo- <laughs> still a mother, still a mother. You, 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 didn't, you didn't think that you you would no, have I, mean, I, I always kids. said I wanted kids by at twenty seven. I didn't think I want them. I didn't think I'd get them this early. And then when I got dated him, when I rescued when I rescued him when I adopted him when I rescued him, he also came with two kids, and I was like, you know what? And then I did it. And I, That's I cute, loved though. it. Yeah, the man so shelter. I yeah, I mean, like I wanted two kids Not at twenty seven. I feel like twenty seven is like my established age, but then I'm fine now, so I love it. Yeah, you see, it's just like. Uh, Okay, this is gonna be a personal question. Yeah, I, I do love you still guys. talk to your baby mama? So, you know, I um, I totally would. However, she um, she had some issues uh, as we both did with drugs, and unfortunately, um, when the opportunity came about for us both to make a decision, I chose one way, and she chose the other way. Um, but we've gone out. I've gone to find her. She's you know she she chose that life of uh, being on the street and um and I tell my boys and I tell Lane all the time you know what if if she got got her ways right and got back on track there's I would never keep an opportunity of her mothering her children um but it's been seven years so um, yeah I, no, happens, I just happens, uh, okay why well, I just asked that because like my ex boyfriend and his baby mama are not together anymore okay so he wants to like get back together and for the sake of the kid. No, he. Oh, oh, with you, okay. I think that's the baby mama. I was like, no, they're not together. No, the mom's but, still in the picture. No, but what yeah. I wanted to ask is, um, you know, since like you know, baby mama, mama drama, you mean? Yeah, like you, you know, I I, I told him I was like, how is your baby mama and your family gonna feel knowing that a trans woman is mothering your child? Is mothering your child? Mm-hmm. And uh, not too many cis women are. Well, I, I can't. My experience is they're not into it. Yeah. Yeah. That's just my experience. Not to say that I don't there's, know. there's cis, but cis I've women met out there that are okay with it. everything. Well, I mean, a couple of them. But go I for it. I say anything. go for it. You only live once. And I don't know. And he's so cute. What is your What is your gut telling you? Like intuitively? Like are you like initially right off the bat? Like is it a good idea or is it just a, a, a lustful like wishful thinking? That's what I'm thinking. It kind of makes me nervous because I don't know if it's just because like he's like. Do you think he's rebounding? Like, like, oh, like we're yeah, breaking up. Like, like, oh, I miss you, girl. Like, we should try to make this work. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's what but, I'm kind of feeling. And I always have my guard up all the time, as you can as tell. You should, as you yeah. should, always, always protect your heart. Oh. But you know, you never know what will happen unless you actually uh, step into it. And because I mean, you did yeah, date him, and you do. I mean, yeah. Then you know, I end up killing someone and going into <laughs> so. lighting someone's car on fire and right. not making Dang, them pizzole Dang, afterwards. And Angela Bassett. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about you? What's your ideal man, babe? 
Um, my <laughs> ideal man is a six foot three gay for pay porn star who doesn't shoot <laughs> gay trans scenes behind my back, especially oh my with God. trans angels. That's my dream man. Ooh. So, um, Alpha Wolfie, when you find him, please send him my way. I will absolutely do that, Elena. Good luck with that. Without further ado, <laughs> before we shut this thing down, I like, literally come back dating a whole different <laughs> gay for pay porn There's star. A whole new, uh, watch looks just like you and everything. Next week, it's like fucking Dante Cole's hosting, and then <laughs> Sam Shaw, like all your fucking new. Oh, I love Dante. <laughs> he's you, coming on the podcast on the twelfth. Oh, really? I love him. I love. He's, him? My, he's my favorite person to work. He's literally with. coming on the twelfth. Doesn't he just make it feel like it's not work? Yeah, I know. He's so sweet. I love. <laughs> I swear. Was that like being sarcastic? No, no, it's because no, the way you fucking said it. Like, doesn't he make it feel like? No, that know, was directed towards, towards me. Because <laughs> I have the, I have this thing, babe. Yeah. <laughs> that was directed towards me because I have this thing where like he'll be like when I when I called him up for all the trans scenes, his fucking clap back was, but babe, it was just work. It was just work. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. You're fucking hot trannies. And you're loving it. So it's not really work for you entirely. Have you seen that TikTok? Like, and I stuck my dildo in your ass. And you fucking loved it. You <laughs> came everywhere. <laughs> exactly. Like, and you said you weren't going to say shit. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, how are you going to say and be like, oh, baby, it was work. But then like, you're into trannies. You're fucking a hot tranny on a porn set. Like, you're still loving it. You're still enjoying it. And on top of that, it's fucking bare back. So you're really feeling everything. So don't come at me and be like, oh, it was just for work. Because there are other porn sets that I've met where they're like, Oh my god! When I work with this guy, he doesn't even make it, he doesn't even Dante especially. he doesn't even make it feel like work. I like enjoyed every bit of it, and I hear that, and I'm like, "Do you see, bitch? <laughs> Do you fucking see? Like, you see? That's why, like, for what reason? I that's so why I'm like, how is that work, bitch? You're fucking fucking some bitch I, on my back. You're cheating on me, girl. The why fuck? did I think that that was a fucking like blow up doll behind you? <laughs> <laughs> It's one of those mini, it's a mini pussy fuck guy. <laughs> <Right. laughs> anyway, no, I've always thought about that. I was like, maybe I should date, like, um, a porn star. I mean, I can understand, like, couples that, like, you know, they both do porn. They both understand everything. That's the way I feel about, like, trans women that date trans men. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's relatable, it's yeah. It's relatable. Yeah, because yeah. they understand, like, you have anxiety, like. You don't want to be out all the fucking time. You don't want to get clocked. Or Why you get know, clocked? Yeah. This that, they understand. Even though they probably won't get clocked as much as we do, but they hardly. Oh, know. the guys, the trans boys, those, but no one. They're so passable. I've not, I have not met one trans man that was like, like that's like everybody I know. I know. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking funny. Dude. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> and that's a wrap. But yeah, no, a lot of the trans men they're usually really short. So I'm just kind of like, oh, that's such a short guy. Yeah, you know. Uh, well, girl, you're what five foot two. Yeah. yeah. Luke, yeah. do you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you uh, met uh, Luke Hudson? Do you know who Luke Hudson is? The name sounds familiar. Performer, trans man, performer. What, oh, with a little tattoo right here. Yeah, yeah. Victor Belfort is pretty hot, trans man. I think he's really hot. Yeah. There's uh, who else? Um, I think like Ashley takes a cake. Uh, what's his name? Something yeah, hard. He's not a performer. Oh, but he still takes who? a fucking cake. What about Triple X trans man? Uh, um, he's hot too. Yeah. Have you shot with him? Would you no. shoot with him? I would. I, would, I, I was. I was scheduled him. to shoot with him. I got scared. Oh my god. Why? I don't Why? know because someone's. You like pussy. I love. I love, but I was just somebody so got in my head about. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna somebody got in my head and like I don't know. I just got. I, what were you gonna say, babe? <laughs> so why is he with you? <laughs> <laughs> Because he also loves dick, okay? I said it. <laughs> I love dick. I love women. I love... I don't really love men, but I love what men have no, to he offer. he loves dick. Yeah. Do you fuck him? No. No. I, I, oh. I'm like, I'm like, what were you talking about? How are you crying? I don't want to bottom. Like, I'm there right now. She just wants to bottom all the time, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to top. I'm like, I'm fucking five foot two. What business do I have bending this big ass man over? It all, just looks weird. All it's business. Like, it's like a hamster fucking a dog. Like, like it doesn't a make chihuahua any sense. fucking <laughs> a fucking like Rottweiler. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm yeah. kind of just like. And then he's wearing all black, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, that just fucks with me even more. I'm like, I can't get into it. I'm sorry. Well, you we can always pe try pegging. You know, if you that's just it's the most stupidest thing ever. Like, why well, am I gonna put a plastic strap on dick when you have a dick? Exactly. Well, I mean, I don't know. Just throw I'm like, if you, oh, this is what I, I tell know. him. It seems like something's gonna happen. Oh, here. I always tell him because he, he. I'm frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get railed by a girl. I always tell. I'm like, listen, you like bottoming, so if you want to bottom, go to work, take a gay scene, and I'll gladly let you get your fix out and then come home and then top me. 
That's my rule right there. I wanted to challenge Twitter. Well, said, girl, like, he's like, not gonna want to like top you when he like has been like bottoming off fucking oh, day no, for eight me, hours. There are times where like won't go to work. Charles, <laughs> <laughs> I will go. I'll, I'll go on set with him, right? And he'll like good knock out a good scene. And then he'll like, we'll finish the scene. He comes back and he's like, I'm like, what's up? No, you're like, don't worry, babe. I didn't really come. That's for you later. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, Charles. <laughs> babe, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Like disgusted. Like, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> that is too fucking funny. Yeah, I'm pretty, I mean, I guess I'm kind of sexual. Very sexual. I mean, you I, I, I kind of. You're way more sexual than I am for sure. Yeah. Like, you're into more kinkier shit than I feel I like am. they're about to I'm start like having like sex right now. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of me. I'm just going to be like, well, mouth, gotta go. <laughs> yeah. See you no, later. I'm, going he's, to church. He's, 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 I'm, I'm into kinkier things, but he's more sexually active. How kinky? Like, I'm into feet stuff. She you loves, said pee. You, she loves feet. Like, she looks I, like, lick your feet? Like, I would love to just, like, I want to drag him. That way we can be really knocked out so I can just really go into town with his feet. Like, like I would like, love to just, like, Wobble on his like, feet, like licking in between oh. the crevices. I would love that. Oh wow! Like that. I would really? love that because he has the most nicest feet I've ever seen in my entire life. And so it's kind of like, you know how like guys have nice masculine hands when guys have a nice hands. For me, I'm like that with feet, and so kind of I'm really into it. Like, I'll look at his feet and I'll come. She has a Polaroid full of feet. A Polaroid full. Uh, full of I have like feet. a folder of just like male feet though. Ew. Uh, I mean, no judgment, but ew. as you're fucking no, judging me, no, bitch. <laughs> no kink no shame, but that's fucking like, nasty, girl. Like, no fucking judgment, but like, girl, get your life. What is wrong with you? What are your kinks? Uh, my, oh, you don't have any? <laughs> Vanilla. Boring. My oh, kinks. Shit. I will. I, <laughs> I like to fuck Elena b- bareback. Honey, if you want, I'll fucking take you to the room right now. <laughs> and we can do all these motherfucking kinks. Let me see your feet. Yeah, you got nice. Pe- you got a pedicure. You good. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, now I'll take you to the she's fucking hard bathroom. Right now. Mm-hmm. She's already yeah, hard right now. Look, she's literally like. <laughs> she's I just fucking came. <laughs> she, <laughs> I just fucking nutted. All bricked up. <laughs> I love fucking Elena, and I pull out really fast, and this white liquid comes out of her ass. It's not common. You ever get that? Like, does your butt get creamy when you get fucked? No, I just get, like, douche water most of the time. <laughs> that, I told you that's what it is. So this white douche stuff... Douche water is not white. This white stuff comes it out. It could be. And I'm like, I'm like, babe, he's like, oh, my God, you're creamy in your ass. I'm like, no, no yeah, that's no, douche water. That's not douche water. If you're creamy, it's, it's like, like... white. You, it's like, like, fucking, like... It's, like, weird. It's, like, basically, you came from, like, your ass. Damn face. it. I said it, and I love to so eat I it. I told you. I told you, I don't girl. believe that. I'm like, I'm like... <laughs> so what do you think it is? I think it's douche water and soap. So who puts soap that far up their asshole? Um, me, cause I'm clean, you know. Baby, I mean, yeah. mm-hmm. she kind of makes. Mm-hmm. I think it's fucking douche water, and like you know how like the soap when you just keep rubbing it, it turns like eventually like, little small bubbles, and it just looks white, but it's just a lot of bubbles together. I don't know what else are you rubbing, baby. I feel like you're the type of person <laughs> like if aliens like fucking a UFO landed and like aliens walked out, you're like those are totally fucking reindeer. Like, I'm like, like no, those are like, like new high tech yeah, airplanes. That's not even like <laughs> no, I saw that at fucking Toys R Us, babe. You're <laughs> stupid. I just don't think it's cream like creaming or coming. Well, or I just think it's fucking water and soap. Anybody who's watching, but comment below. I just dropped my nail because. Oh, you. There it is. Oh, can you grab it? I have nail glue, so we'll, we'll just act like it never happened. Yeah. Oh, just. Now just like hold on to it like is this. Is everybody wearing pressies now or what? Yes, because I'm wearing oh, press yeah. ones right now. Just hate getting my nails done. 100 bucks a pop. I hate getting my nails done. Fucking too. sitting there and I can't do shit. And yeah. All I these bitches it. are talking shit about me the whole time. They're like, I know they're talking shit on me. They're, they're like, this. I get so mad because I see all these Asian ladies like cleaning his foot, playing with his foot, and I get so jealous. What is wrong with you, girl? Maybe you should just be single. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm like, I, we're always, I'm like getting my nails on next to him, right? I'm texting him. I'm like, I'm like, this fucking Asian bitch is like fucking getting all the Girl! I'm like, I'm like, well, just lock him up when you go out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, she's just getting all up in your fucking foot in between the toes. Like, what the fuck? Who do you think she is? Okay, but the thing is that you like feet, so yeah, that's why you're getting so upset. Yeah. Like, she's like, those are my feet. I, she's like, I cuddle his feet. How dare these bitches at the nail salon touch my man's feet? You're like, girl, you're getting a fucking pedicure. Like, what the fuck? They can do it with gloves. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even be doing it with gloves. They're doing all bareback and shit. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking hoes are bareback in my man's feet. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I like, swear to God, I swear. Wear gloves. Y'all are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> my, but I have a latex. Thing. I got to use fucking. <laughs> he's a lambskin. Oh, are your toes allergic to latex? Yeah, thing? yeah. <laughs> I've been foot fucking. You know, you got an infection. You don't have any kings, <laughs> huh? You don't have any kings. I think you do. I think you're just shy um, right now. Do you like to make out? You like making out with your boyfriend? Like when you're having sex? Like 
I don't know. No, I'm like getting spat weird. on, hair pulling. Okay, choking, I like getting slapped. spit on, okay. slapped, you like, choked. Oh, she likes to be disrespected. I like being like handcuffed, taken like down to the courthouse, tied to like, the bed. getting questioned. I like being dominated. We'll say that. Tied up at the construction site. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love public sex. Oh my god, me oh, too. Oh, she is kinky. Those are all kinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He can't yeah. do public sex. I can too. He gets, he gets public shy. He gets shy. Listen, not at night when the fucking like park is dark as shit and no one can see. Mm, right. Let's see like tonight. I know. The little walking trail over there. I guarantee you, there's people. I've always fucking wanted to go on a like a hike. Fuck. Only at night. Nice That's a total I'm faggot thing to do. I'm sorry. What? It I is. told you I was a faggot. Yeah, I know. Is it a really? Oh, the boys <laughs> love it. I know. The boys <laughs> love no hiking, like the hiking, cruising trails, like. In, okay, so in San Diego, Black's Beach, there's this trail. There's two trails that go down to the beach, and that's like the gay nude beach. But the guys are always out there, like, oh, we're gonna go hiking, and I'm like, they're posting on Instagram, I'm like, dude's butt ass naked on a trail, like they're at night or in the daytime, daytime, <gasps> daytime, oh, getting railed. Is that movie? Um, there's something about uh-huh. movie. Yes. <laughs> Very Great bad. Movie. Great movie. What movie? Oh, yeah. Because they're, Where they like, you, know, to, you know, <laughs> you know uh, truck stops are like number one homosexual gay stop. <laughs> truck stops? Yeah, truck yes. stops. Yeah. They're like number one. Uh, it's like total gay gay spot. Like truckers hook yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, hello. Truckers are driving for fucking seven hours a day. Okay. And then they stop with other truck drivers. That hello, are doing meth. What the fuck you think? Take or you have the lot lizards. The lo- oh, lizards. That, those lot, those lizards. Are, those are the girls are that are the walking girls the park. That, yeah. that walk around the yeah. parking lot of the, yeah. the truck stops, yeah. you know, to get fucked just and just paid. Do you want to be a lot? Lizard? I just want to be one of them, just to really be like degraded. Because I'm, I'm into that. I'm into like degrading shit. But you oh, you already math, have. Honey. You have to do a bunch of math and go walk around the parking lot. I don't think really they do that. I, I don't th- think I gotta go to be math. I think I can do it right now and be fine. No, the well, tr- let's go. Okay, where are we gonna go drive? I, I'm uh, sure there's no, plenty of spots to take. Oh. <laughs> Close oh. out, right, babe? You got okay, this. Okay, uh, so close me out here, guys. We're gonna go. Hey, girls, wait. Don't know. Don't go. Yet. <laughs> He's like, I want to come with too. I'm getting FOMO. <laughs> yeah, I have major FOMO. Oh my god, like me too. <laughs> He's like, I'm one of the girls. I want to be <laughs> Don't leave me. I want a bottom. Um. So okay. So favorite food, by the way. <sighs> you know. I don't know. Come on, Audrey. I would have to say my favorite food would have to be. First thing, grandma's cooking. Well, I mean, nothing feels like home. You know yeah, I mean? but besides that, but um, wings. Wings. Fuck yeah, flats or wings? No wings. I, uh, so you like you don't like the flats? What are the flats? The, the, okay, so you have the wings with the drumsticks, and you have like, the like fucking the flats. Yeah. Where I like it, both of them. And the flats. I don't fuck. I but I love flats. wings. But it's just like you know, like whenever like I go on a date. Which is like well, you never. don't order which fucking is, wings. Which on is a date. never. Start, I do. Let's start there. I, let's <laughs> fucking start there. <laughs> because there's no way. There's no pretty way to eat wings. No. Oh, my way. Two forks. Whenever I eat chicken or Ew. anything. Ew. I, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I hate. It's so like I, eating pizza with a fucking I, knife. I eat. And I eat a burger with a knife and a fork. No. Cause no, I hate getting, I'd be like, <laughs> I hate getting food in my nails. That's why. So I kind of stab one fork and then I grab the other. Oh no, girl! I don't wings. give a fuck. And then no, I actually I just rip the entire top it. off. And you're breaking bones. It's just one teeth. white chicken, like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Very with that, like, like ah, perhaps not. And <laughs> <laughs> fucking eating everything. I see Andrea. She's like, bites one bone off, spits it out. Guys, the guys like, he's like. You're Damn, like, little are lady. You, you know how to put it away. <laughs> Damn, eat? little lady. You like, know how to put it away. Are you going to eat that over there? Uh-huh. So. <laughs> I've been that person before. We all Where have. I'm like... Are you going to finish those potato skins? <laughs> she's like staring. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is she doing? And then I got it. And I was like, oh, she's like chewing and like looking at their food. Uh, yes. <laughs> you oh gotta finish God. those potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was, but I guess I was. was. <laughs> but if you want them, I guess. You're like, fine. <laughs> I guess I'll have like, don't mind me if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's up to you. I oh mean, God, time. It's going to be a funny one. I, oh, this no. is great. We've had juicy ones. We've had, like, real ones. We've had we, messy shit. We've we had, haven't had funny. This is, yeah, there's. This is by uh, far the funniest You know what? One. I actually, I love that. Thank this you. is by far the funniest one. Yeah. Thank you. I love I've that. never seen him laugh so hard on a podcast and turn red. Because <laughs> yeah. usually it's kind of like, we're keeping it professional. Like, they're talking about their sad story, so we're kind of yeah. listening. Or, like, they're talking about, like, sex work we're relating. Yeah. But, like, no one's really came on But you can like, only do that so much. Yeah. yeah. 
So no, really, no one's really came on to make him laugh like that. So you really, thank yeah, you. you like, when you said you're like, girl, I have a dark sense of humor. And so I'm like, fuck yeah. that. Like, we thank love you for making him. He yeah. needed that laugh. Thank you. I, thank you for making him laugh so much. I love no it. No problem. Hell really yeah. Do. So before we. Off absolutely. You should, yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to close that in a second. Before we shut it down, do you have any anything you want to plug? Your Instagram, Twitter, OnlyFans. <clears throat> this is your time to plug. This your is your time to shine, baby girl. This is all you. All right. Well, they said it was time to plug, but I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot mine at home. <laughs> That's fine. He has five. Well, girl, go get it. Shit, we'll do it all together. It's <laughs> <laughs> all plugged together. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can find me on Twitter, Jane Marie underscore XO, OnlyFans, Jane Marie underscore XO, and Instagram, Libo Corpse, which is French. No, I don't speak French, so don't fucking DM me telling me that. C O R P S. I thought it was um, Spanish for like beautiful like corpse, right? Libo corpse. It means the beautiful body. Oh, okay. Who fucking told me it was beautiful something? I don't know. I saw I saw a corps. I thought so. I was like, is she in the military? I'm like Lebo corps. Like she in the she a military? Well, I was at one time. Were you? Yes. You were corpsman. Yeah. Oh shit! There you I go. I was in the Marines. Damn. She's fucking. She's with fucking you. lying. She's fucking well, with you. Don't ask, don't tell, right? That's. Sure. You, ex- mm-hmm. you see, we're about to get the fucking door blown in, <laughs> and then you can blow her in later. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she'll uh, top. No, she won't. No. Well, Give it like four more years. Yeah, maybe, maybe five. Mm-hmm. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope we got demonetized this time. If we didn't, please report us. Please, please don't. <laughs> please don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but thanks for coming. We'll see well, you next time. Also, yeah. thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. And I actually really like. Um, I just want to say like I respect what you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Yeah. yeah. Cause no, it's very like right now what like, you guys are doing, and you've done it before as well. But you know, I respect what you're doing thank here you so much. because we're getting so much word out there. So I respect it. Thank you. Thank you, Adriana. That's the goal. So thank you for coming on. Stay tuned and uh we oh, got another honey, episode I'm dropping next week. <laughs> Bye guys.